Truck and trailer aerodynamics is a subject that can be as simple or as complex as you wish to make it. Fundamentally, the concept is simple, to create a vehicle that slices through the air with as little resistance as possible. However, there's much more to it than that. For an overview on the subject of aerodynamics, I caught up with Frank Bile, product manager with Volvo Trucks North America, who has a rather colorful way of explaining aerodynamics and its impact on fuel efficiency. Now, Frank, you have a really interesting way of demonstrating aerodynamics, which fundamentally is, is quite simple. You want a truck that's slippery and cuts through the air, but there's a lot more to it than that, isn't there? Absolutely. I mean, you know, if you talk about aerodynamics, a lot of times what people do is they get a little bit confused with respect to drag and fuel economy. So let's take a look at some of the numbers that really make sense. If you think of drag as the amount that's holding that truck back, for every 2% improvement in drag that you can make, you get a 1% improvement in fuel economy. And if you take a truck that, like this that's, that's running some, oh, 125,000 miles a year, uh, it will use somewhere in the vicinity of $75,000 worth of fuel and DEF over that time. So you can see that just a 1% improvement in fuel economy will relate to about $750 a year each year that the vehicle is run. Another piece that uh, people like to relate to is the amount of tires versus drivetrain versus aerodynamics. And if, at about 50 miles per hour, it's a rule of one third. One third basically goes to the aerodynamics and uses, uh, air is actually draw used there. And then you have one third that goes to the tires and one third that goes to the drivetrain. So you can see you're splitting that energy that's needed or the fuel that's used equally between aerodynamics, tires, and then the drivetrain. But when you get up to about 65 miles per hour, one half of the energy that you need is needed to go through the air. So you're, you're using half of the fuel to go through the air when you're at 65 miles an hour. So if you, a lot of trucks, you know, used to be geared at about 70 miles an hour, and we're seeing a lot of the fleets now moving that down to about 65 or even less. And just that five mile an hour difference can relate or can provide about a 5% improvement in fuel economy. So there's big numbers in aerodynamics and fuel economy, not just what you see here, but to the bottom line, to the customer. And a, a big part of that, as you say, half is attributed to aerodynamics, and that's, that's what you can control as a truck manufacturer. That's right. In part two, Frank will demonstrate how specs such as bug deflectors and sun visors can impact fuel efficiency.